Welcome to either the dumbest or funniest way to play a racing game using the English alphabet. There are 26 letters in here and for each letter I'm only allowed to use one car. Whatever the first letter is of the car's model is what will determine where it can go. So let's say I get a Honda Civic for example. It could fill out the letter C, Skyline in S, and etc. I'm using the model names cause that way I'll have more options to pick from. The only cars that I won't use are the ones that start with a number, such as the Mazda 787. B, most of the alphas, and plenty of other cars with numbers in them. Once I've selected a car for a specific letter, I can't get any other car that starts with that letter. So in this case, if I pick a skyline for the letter S, that means I can't use cars like the Opel Speedster, Toyota Supra, or Honda S2K for the rest of the run. And to make this more interesting as well, I've enabled the randomizer mod to help in the car hunt. This run was also done on an early build of the Spec 2 mod from Admeister, which adds a lot of quality of life improvements. Like having a global setting for assists instead of having to change it for each car individually. All events in the special conditions have been reduced to only one race with three laps, a few extra events as well, and some events are moved around like the sports lounge being in the professional series and GT World in the extreme one. Originally I was planning to just skip the licenses and get into the events, but since this is a randomizer run, I decided to go for silver on most of them. Obtaining the first license, the bronze reward was interesting. <laughs> As for cards, going to be a... Renault 5 Maxi Turbo Rally car. <laughs> Why does it have to be the very first one, a numerical one? <laughs> Not too long afterwards, the National A license was obtained. We're getting a... Okay, uh, <laughs> AC cars. I think this can work for something, maybe. Is it another, another number or? It's another number. Fuck! God damn it, man. Well, we're getting 90,000. That will put us at 100k so we could buy a decent starter car, maybe. So close to rounding up everything at 9. Money, bro! Ooh! 265k. Now that, uh, I'll definitely take that one. Now we have quite the, quite the spare change. We could quite literally buy a very decent starter car now. So let's actually see what we even have in the beginner events. So Sunday Cup, FF, FR, 4 wheel drive, that's the normal ones. You have now these ones as well. Four cylinder and super wagon. And what I, if I'm not mistaken, now it'll like tell you what cars can be used in all of these competitions. I had a few bronzes left to fix in here which were pretty easy to obtain, leading me to this thing. Come on man! Why is my luck so garbage? Two cars that I can't use because of a number. Third car because it it's quite literally slow. It can't move an inch. The alphabet it is giving me such hideous RNG. <laughs> it can move, it's a car. You know what also can move? My fucking leg! <laughs> the alphabet's a fucking misery, fellas. <laughs> Beautiful stuff, fellas. Let's now go back here <laughs> and see what we're gonna get. Seriously, I just want something. Like, one car that I can start the game off with. <laughs> like, nothing can be usable at the moment. I mean, I, I know I can buy something. But I want to see if the game gives me something decent. While I was doing these tests, Xbox mentioned how the Chevy SSR is a very versatile car and can do a lot of things. And I think the game overheard what he said. Uh, we get... DUDE! <laughs> we were talking about the Chevy SSR! We were actually talking about the Chevy SSR! And it's a truck! You know how rare a truck is in a randomizer playthrough? Absolutely rare. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Beautiful. Convertible and truck. I can comfortably put that in the S1. SSR Chevrolet. There we go. I don't know what other cars we have in the S1, but I will I will roll with this one. No more Skylines for the rest of the run. Yep. Skylines, sayonara. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to sell the dime letters. <laughs> How much is this thing worth? 53 grand for a Daimler. <laughs> yeah, I'll take all the money I can get. The very first thing I used this for was the truck competition itself. And with all the upgrades I slapped into it, the Swiss Army Knife was kicking major ass, giving me a Honda Civic as a reward, which could do FF Cup, but I didn't feel like locking it in immediately, so I let it stay in the garage for now. I wanted to tackle the more obscure letters in this run, 
and the letter O only had two cars, the Mini and Honda Odyssey. And after careful consideration, I chose the Mini for this, because it could do the Sunday Cup, and if all weight reduction upgrades were purchased, it can also do the British Lightweight Competition. I didn't give it too many upgrades, because I wanted to have some challenging opponents, and in this case, the Mini Cooper was damn rapid. How is this thing so freaking quick compared to the other Minis? <laughs> like, look how far back they are, they're not fighting, it's only this. The Mini Cooper giving us a... Uh, Somewhat of a fight. We got a little bit of a better exit. Is the slip swing gonna help? Come on! <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> that is what I like to see. Toyota Sports. Oh, man. Oh, this would have been nice, dude. It actually would have been nice. The Sports 800. That car was so freaking good when I did the Toyota challenge. It is an S, fellas. An S is already occupied. I'm so sorry. The Sunday Cup was easier than I expected, even with a lack of upgrades giving me the next reward. Akura HSC. Wait a minute. Didn't we mention H was also a rare letter? <laughs> okay. We were actually talking about rare H cars. <laughs> and Akura HSC joins the lineup now, fellas. And it can do MR competition as well. That is actually pretty sick. <laughs> Some uh, good RNG there, I would say. Now, we could take this, actually, for a spin in uh, some competitions. 325 horsepower at the moment. After giving our GT guy a hydration check, I checked out the special condition events, beating quite a few events without any issues, giving me Kuru's favorite car. A Golf! A Golf 5, actually. <laughs> I'll keep that uh, nice and cozy there. As for mainline events, the HSC was qualified for the MR Cup, which it beat with ease as well. The SSR was also compatible for the Spider and Roadster Cup. I can't, man. It just looks so freaking goofy. And I'm honest, a merc. Just nothing. <laughs> this feels so wrong, I know. You know, I kind of wonder what goes through the driver's head, like of the guy in front of me. Seeing a car like this chasing him down. <laughs> like you're just casually driving your Miata and then you see this in your rear view mirror. Just imagine the horror on the, <laughs> the terror on that driver right there. Anything usable? Oh! Audi Le Mans 4. Do we have anything else that could be used in L? I did double check if there were any other decent cars for L, but the current car seemed to be the best choice for it. <laughs> it's qualified for this shit. Okay, not gonna change a single thing on this car. Just gonna let B-Spec uh, B Bob take it. It might, be a, it might be a tough competition for him. I don't know, fellas. It's his, it's his first time stepping onto this grand stage in Grand Valley. <laughs> He might be a little bit nervous, but I believe in B-Spec Bob. He has the potential of a future world champion. Look at him go, fellas. Off into the distance he goes. What a beautiful lot. And bam. Just like that, the show is over. <laughs> God damn it, man. Who needs restrictions anyways, you know? <laughs> just believe in B-Spec Bob, fellas. Look at him go. Such tremendous performance. The way he just goes smoothly around the corners as well. Just elegance. Proper elegance right there. For the four-cylinder event, I wanted to see if I could go with equal performance as the AI, but the game didn't like that idea. A 10-point race. Oh, God. I don't know how it's even 10 points. It's This Mini has only 160 horsepower. The other cars in front of, front of me should have more power than me. Especially that Renault in, in first place. It should definitely have more power. Because our assists are still on. Turn off your damn assists, you fucking bastards! Give me the fucking challenge I desire! Shove your fucking ugly assists up your ugly exhaust pipes. Interestingly enough, Admeister managed to make the AI work on Suzuka West Course. In the base game, their path was not properly made, so that's why there weren't any events on it, and only on the East Course and full layout. After this, it went ahead to complete the FF Cup, and the reward was truly an unexpected one. GG, fellas. Fellas! We're done! <laughs> We're basically done now. Oh my god! The best LMP I can get! <laughs> the best possible LMP is Jover now! I didn't use the R letter yet. Such good RNG. Fucking hell. I've never driven the R8 race car even. From the FF challenge as well. Can we get an applause for the Mini gifting us such a beautiful vehicle? How much power does this thing have? Yes. It just has yes. <laughs> Fellas, there's one thing I would like to do, but I'm not sure if it's possible. Can I take the R8 for a spin? <laughs> what can I do in the R8 even? 
Is there anything in the professional events that I can do? <laughs> no restrictions in the tuning car Grand Prix. It, this will be a good test. Decent, decent cars, I would say. Oh, I don't have an international beer. Never mind. License Center! While I was here, I also went ahead and got the International A license out of the way, which gave me a TVR T350. I didn't think I was gonna get a lot of cars with a T, so I added this one to the list as well. The final license also unlocks the Extreme events, but we'll check in on it later. For now, I have an Audi to test out. I think it's absolutely fair, you know, ignore the one point that is. It is absolutely competitive. We, we, there's an Opera S2K, that car is pretty, pretty quick, you know? And we are, uh, we are gone. <laughs> the POV was stopping in 2023. <laughs> I mean, who's, who's to blame for this, okay? Blaming me or blaming the game for giving us this? Give them a 10 second head start, okay? That's a good idea. No, I'll, I'll be more generous. I'll give them a bigger, uh, bigger lead. When they cross the line for second lap, that is when I start. Fair and balanced racing. Thank you, Keanu Reeves. Very cool. Did I give them too much of a lead? I don't know. 50 second lead they have at the moment. 22 seconds a lap. Eh, that sounds completely doable. I would I would say so myself. Nah, we're definitely not catching up. 30 seconds. If we had an extra lap, maybe. Back to Max Verstappen mode. Do we help this lot out? It's not fair he has to be all the way in the back while the other lads are just cruising. Let's help him out. You'll get there as well, buddy. Come on. I believe in you, buddy. Let's go. Keep it on the road! Keep it on the road! There you go. Very beautiful maneuver right there. Maybe even help out the Opera S2K. I am your friend, fellas! Here to give you that extra little performance that you need. Audi went ahead to win the Tuning Car Championship. Next up was the NA Cup, and I did do one event with the Acura, but I found it a little too easy at the moment. So I wanted to try out a different car for it. Volkswagen Golf takes the G-slot now. Let's see if it's actually... Uh... As good as Kuru says. <laughs> Sadly though, no NA upgrade could be put on it, so plans changed slightly and it went into the Turbo Cup. But I forgot about one crucial thing with the speedrunning goal, the Wang. To make it challenging, I only added two upgrades, which should be good enough, I think. Bye, have a great time! Oh, fuck it out, we need a lot of power, actually. Never mind that. Most told me that the AI has about 400 horsepower in here, so I went close to 350. Our golf is definitely quick now, fellas. <laughs> we actually have a decent golf now. That Evo, though, is gonna give me quite a bit of a headache, I feel like. Oh, God. I see why Kuru adores this thing. Oh, God, fellas, look at the speed. The speed, God almighty. <laughs> this is quite literally the junk man, junk man golf now. <laughs> The Silver Junkman Golf. That, that was the only tough opponent, actually. <laughs> the other ones are so far back. Like, what the fuck? 174? It has to be because of the Evo and the RX-7, most likely. Can the Golf actually master this one as well? Oh, yeah, I definitely need the Nitro if I want to keep up with these lugs. Yoink. Oof. Colossal Dive Bomb. That first place, dude, is gonna be a problem. It is super fucking quick. I think we, I think we do stand a chance. Two second lead only at the moment. Don't let the French beat you. Can't live without humiliation. The golf is sniffing for an opportunity, fellas. Oh, can I get it? Yoink! Let's go. I have to keep it, actually. <laughs> oh, God, no. No, I'll let him go. No point in holding him back. Let's let him give me a slip stream. See what happens. These two lads kept fighting through every corner and the Golf finally finds an opening, but the Peugeot retakes it in the same way as before. The Golf had one more chance at the final corner. It sends it and manages to get ahead of the Peugeot. Now a drag race towards the finish line. The Peugeot kept fighting till the end, but the Golf manages to come out on top with only two tenths separating them. The final event was in midfield with 184 points. But somehow, it was a lot easier than the previous race. Getting first place by the start of the second lap, winning this cup as well. It also managed to clear the Clubman Cup with ease. As for the R8, it still had some special condition events it could tackle, but it didn't give me much. Except for one familiar face. We got a Mercedes Benz. Seriously? I got this thing <laughs> from the license center and I got a duplicate. A duplicate motor carriage. <laughs> 
Fuck me! <laughs> Sometimes I can have some really good shit and then quite literally bash it. <laughs> After a bit more grinding, it finally gave me something decent. Daihatsu move! Do we have anything for M? We don't! We can use it for K-Car! Yes! An actual K-Car one! Nothing in the M slot. Oh, that's beautiful. Daihatsu move. There we go. Oh, that's that's simply incredible. Bam. We got both a truck and a K-Car in a randomizer run. <laughs> Japan shitbox saves the day. <laughs> there it is. 63 horsepower as well. The Daihatsu moved its way through the field and won the K-Car Cup. Anything decent from K-Car? <laughs> Why am I getting so many duplicates? Uh, I mean, we could switch up the color now. We can go from the red one to the silver one. <laughs> it wasn't quick enough for World Compact, and considering the amount of money I had, I wanted to have some fun with this car. We can have 100 horsepower now. Bam. We're going balls to the wall with this Daihatsu move. It's gonna move and then some more. We can lose more weight as well, because why not? <laughs> We're committing to the move. Yes, we are committing. Oh, shit. I realize it needs a wank. We can't go without a wank. Oh, God. It is absolutely moving now. <laughs> Holy Christ. Moving in front of a Peugeot, a Yaris, even a BMW. Look at this thing. It's just, ter it's just beautiful seeing this. It is absolutely beautiful. It brings a tear to a man's eye seeing a thing like this cruising by. <laughs> Get moved. <laughs> the entire opposition got completely moved. This isn't moving anymore. It's running now. <laughs> I was really enjoying driving this car, so I wanted to share that enjoyment with B-Spec Bob and see how he would handle it. Full push mode for this thing. B-Spec Bob is going for it! Oh, beautiful stuff! B-Spec Bob actually confident in a Daihatsu for once. <laughs> we got four laps. I don't think he'll win, but I want to see if he can actually get close. B-Spec Bob is a man on a mission right now, fellas. <laughs> he has all the downforce he can ask for as well, and all the grip he needs. We have a long straight ahead of us. Will the Ford car move out of the way? It will. Let's go. He didn't win, but he still got us a decent amount of points in the championship. So I'm happy with the work from B-Spec Bob. The rest I did on my own and secured this championship. As for the Akura, I decided to clear the NA Cup with it. Afterwards, I decided to have a little break and relax around Costa di Amalfi. And somehow that kind of paid off. BMW McLaren F1 GTR. That is actually amazing. I've never used this thing. Is there anything else decent for F that we should uh, consider? I can't really think of anything. We're stuffing the McLaren BMW McLaren F1 here. List is looking uh, pretty cramped now. What is this shit? Audi Le Mans 4 R8 race car. Now I'm McLaren F1. <laughs> Why is my RNG so good all of a sudden? <laughs> One thing I found out with the Spec 2 mod was you didn't need to do all events in the beginner and professional league. You could just go ahead and do GT World if you wanted to. But for tradition's sake, I'll do all of the events prior before doing this. I took the McLaren for a spin around Paris and it gave me this. We get a Beetle. A car from 1949. Hold on a moment. It can be used here. Okay. With this Beetle being qualified for the World Classics Championship, it occupies the B letter slot. Will its 80 horsepower be good enough to win this? The Mercury would be a tough opponent with the amount of power it has, but most muscle cars aren't properly set up with the gear issues, so there was still a chance of winning this. Sadly though, on a track with such a long straight, the only overtake opportunity had to be a dirty one. Well, that can work. I wanted to do it legit, man. I wanted to do it legit. I'm sorry. We survive our first encounter, but look at him. He's just coming, fellas. <laughs> He's just coming. Is the Nitro good enough to push us close to him? Seems like we could actually try this without qual qualifying. Dude! <laughs> I can't believe this thing. This beetle is just crazy man this is a matchup i didn't expect to see but it's uh it's proving to be a terrific battle corners were a big help for me on this track but the mercury was keeping close and overtaking me a few times it was a constant back and forth between them come on puss it puss it beetle we're going all the way buddy the beetle with all its power keeps the cougar at bay <laughs> win number two fellas 
I didn't want to spend 10 minutes qualifying for this, so I let B-Spec Bob take the wheel around the Nordschleife. Gonna get second place at least. It's already in fifth. It's already in fourth as well. <laughs> Come on, Beetle, keep pushing! Get that second place at least. That's what we need. That's what we need the most right now from your lad. He's already there. He's sniffing that third position right now, fellas. First guy's already a kilometer ahead of us. Doesn't matter. What matters is third place. Actually, no. Second place. <laughs> uh, I just can't find a good opportunity yet. Uh, come on. We're losing time from the other guy. You have to push it, B-Spec Bob. Get all the juice out of that beetle. Come on, side by side. Does he have it, fellas? Yes! Let's go, B-Spec Bob. Let's freaking go, lad. Oh, that is beautiful. There's still chances to scrap something out of this event. We just have to hope he can keep up with the other with the other guy. Let's see, how far is he, actually? He's five seconds behind. I don't know if he can actually get that. Oh, he's gaining, actually. Oh, he gaining. Long straight ahead of us. Oh, uh, it's pushing 140. The other guy is going 150. Damn. I guess we have to depend on the corners. The corners should be our advantage points. Maybe the downhill sector will prove uh, prove something. Roughly the same speed. Come on. Come on, Bobby. He's trying, though. He's really, really trying. Oh, yeah, he's actually gaining. He's actually gaining. Come on, Bob. Passing the YouTube corner as well. He's so freaking close. Screw 48 seconds on first place. Nobody gives a shit about that. This is the battle that we are looking forward to. Uh, he's getting such good racing lines as well. So close, but yet so far, Bob. Maybe the final straight will be the determining factor. Who knows? Like, they're so close. Maybe we can get a slipstream. Look at, look at the distance. It's right there. Is he? Oh, he's gone. He is gone, fellas. Ah, uh, 170. Ah, uh, no, no. He beats us on the long straights. We were close, though. The beetle was fighting, though. Still, though, getting third place was pretty good. If it only could have done it earlier, maybe we could have gone second. B-Spec Bob gave it his all, but third was the best he could claim. Still, I was proud of him, and that deserves an applause in my opinion. That leaves us only with two more races, around Monaco, which my car is properly made for, and Laguna Seca, which the Beetle also wins at, finishing the World Classics Championship. I took the McLaren into the Supercar Festival, which it honestly just cruised by in. There's only three things left to do. The Wagon Cup, Boxer Spitted, and the Sports Lounge event. Now, as I said at the start of the vid, I can buy cars if I want to, instead of hunting them down in every corner of the game. So I bought a Subaru wagon car that can do two cups and a DB9 for the sports lounge event. The wagon one was pretty simple without any upgrades. The Boxer Spirit Cup definitely needed one. That leaves us with the Sports Lounge, which requires you to use a car worth over 100,000 credits, which is where our DB9 comes into play. A very good exit. Oh, okay. We're getting a good slipstream. Yo, a stock DB9 actually clutching it. Even though it said 150 points. <laughs> it was easy at first, until the SLR got into second place. Oh, he's right there, man. He's right there. I can see why it's 150 points now. At least I can lose him on the corners. The SLR kept putting on the pressure no matter what. It was just one second behind going into the final lap and kept gaining and overtaking me for the lead. However, I remember the dive bomb Kevin Magnuson had here and I tried it for myself retaking P1 and somehow keeping it till the finish line with the SLR only being a few tenths behind. Next up was Opera Perez and on the first lap a few late lunges got the DB9 into third but something strange happened. On this next long straight, you have a left turn but for some reason the AI completely would slow down giving me the easiest overtake possible on the next lap it happened again with the zonda coming to a halt oh what the what why did you <laughs> he slowed down so much man what was that i thought he was gonna go flat out or some shit but nope i'll think ai very cool <laughs> Apparently, it's a bug that only exists on the version that I'm playing, which is the GT4 online version. So with that, the win is mine. The rest of the events weren't that difficult, so Sports Lounge is done and dusted as well. That only leaves the GT World Championship. Now, considering I was using the AD for this, I wanted to get the strongest opponents possible, so I was re-rolling for maybe half an hour or so until I got this lineup. A Toyota GT1, the Nissan AD89 92 race car, a Bentley Speed, and the AD390 race car, which 
was the weakest one in this lineup. The lights go out and we are off and immediately I'm caught in a Nissan sandwich. I did manage to take the lead but I was being a little bit cautious going into the first corner and the AI took advantage of that and it was back to the Nissan sandwich for a bit. But a clumsy error of mine costed me second place, dropping me back to third. I managed to still stay close to one of the Nissans taking second place and at the start finish straight I managed to retake the lead. The R8 sat there comfortably but the tires were slowly wearing off and I thought maybe risking it for a pit stop could pay off so I switched to the soft compound for the second stint. I was 30 seconds behind my rivals as they pitted in as well. I did manage to overtake them but the Toyota and Bentley never pitted so sadly P3 is the best I could get with this strategy. Next up is Super Speedway for all my left turn enjoyers out there. This event involved pretty much the same maneuvers every lap. First left turn, gain ground, then get into their slipstream, watch them accelerate away on the next turn, and repeat that for another 15 laps, where one of the Nissans decided to pit, and the other one doing the same on the following lap. I learned from my previous mistake and just stayed with my front left tire being on life support, crossing the finish line and claiming the first victory in this championship. With that, I am two points ahead of the Bentley and Toyota. Next up is Hong Kong, and this one... Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? I'll be honest, after the first two events, the AI was just nowhere really. So by the time I got to the final track, I already had enough points to win this. So I wanted to try something different. I pitted on the second lap for Sops, with the two Nissans cruising off into the distance. I wanted to see if I could catch up to them again, so I let Beastback Bob handle our final stint of the run. He made his way to 4th, then to 3rd, but it seemed like getting P1 would be impossible. Until this happened. Oh, he fucked up! <laughs> One of the Nissans fucked up! Yoink! <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that one. Oh, we could actually stand a chance here. Come on, push. We might actually have a chance to win this. We need to see where this guy's going. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> holy fuck. No fucking way, dude. Can't believe that, actually. I mean, actually, that was part of the strategy. We, we knew they were gonna fuck up. That's why you gotta believe in the process. The R8 takes victory in Le Mans. <laughs> and the Toyota overtakes the Nissan at the final corner. Oh my god. Nissan absolutely bottled it. <laughs> they absolutely bottled it. Can't actually can't believe that. <laughs> and with that, we have a secure GT World as well. Oh yeah, since it's a randomizer run, what are we gonna get as the... What are we gonna get as a car here? And final car is going to be a... Carl Sonic Skyline GTR is gone. And with that, this run is complete. And here's the list of cars I've had in this run. The red ones I have driven, while the blue ones I picked up for a specific letter, but never drove it. If you want to see this done in another game, feel free to suggest some in the comments down below. I was thinking of maybe doing it in a Forza game, because it has a lot of cars as well. And this time, the goal would only be to complete the list. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time.